Welcome to Compass's modeling using numerical methods. The particular purpose of this particular tutorial is to learn how to post-process results in 2D plate elements. For that, I have invited Mr. Wei again, and I hope you have watched module four to better follow this particular tutorial and the previous modules as well. What are the learning objectives of this particular module? We want to learn how to determine the local strains in the laminar orientation system on a ply-by-ply -ply basis. We also want to learn how to determine the local stresses in the laminar orientation system. I provide here the elastic properties for this particular problem and the laminate stacking sequence, which we have been using all along as an exemplar of what we're trying to accomplish. You also, we have a, provided the cure ply thickness of 0 0.009 inch. And what we wanna do in this case is a very simple problem. We wanna just apply a load in the X direction. And in this particular case, what we wanna do is apply a load on one face and measure the deflection. We wanna calculate the slope and compares against three different models. Model number one is an approach where we calculate the effective properties of the lamina and use one element through the thickness. And for that, we'll use star solid section composite stacks direction equals three. So Abex will do this calculation for you. Model two will be to model every ply angle in the stacking sequence with one row of 3D elements. We may or may not do this one, it's not necessary. Model three is to model a laminate using shell elements. And the purpose is to see how the strains compare along the fiber direction and stresses along the fiber direction for each of these cases. That is the goal of this particular tutorial. Over to Wei, Mr. Wei. I really appreciate your help and hope you can learn something in this tutorial. Thank you. Hi everyone. This video will teach how to determine the local strength in the laminar orientational um, system and also how to determine the local stresses in the laminar orientational system. So we will use the previous simulation results uh, like the composite material assigned by the, uh, like uh, this solid section composite material and also uh, assign the individual elements uh, or use the shear elements. Okay, actually the process is the same. We go to the step and then click the field output, edit, then at the top, the domain, we choose um, the composite layout. And then choose the, uh, that's what you create the material uh, composite, uh, the material orientation you have created. So here I just, I name as the composite layout, layout three, and then click OK. Then that's done. Uh, then, uh, one more thing is to double check your material uh, assignments. So for the integration, the thickness integration, it's better to use more than three or um, three so that the result could be more accurate. Then you can run mm, the simulation as you should. So we use the case for the composite material under the unilateral tension and we assign the displacement control. That is uh, about 10%. Like here, we use displacement control at point one. Okay. Then let's see the results. So this mode two is corresponding to our like a uh, this material setting. We use the solid section composite stack, and then we will get the results like this. Okay, I will enlarge out my screen. So like this. Um. You get the results like this, okay. Then at the top, uh, first you uh, we want to see the uh, we, we want to see the stress stream uh, in the 
uh, direction of the material orientation. So we click the results, click the uh, options first. Then we click the transformation. So usually it will be default, which means that is the same as the layup orientation. We can choose layup or default, they are the same. And then we go to results, select the section points, and then click the piles. Then we can uh, request the stress. First, we request stress in one direction, S11. Then we want to see the uh, layer one, and we just apply. Then the results will pop up. So that is 5.6 uh, E5 for all the surface. And then the layup two, that will be the 6.78. Then layup three should be the similar because that is 45 degree uh, uh, orientation will be different. Then oh, will be almost the same. Uh, and the layer six will be different because that is a 90 degree. So that is a stress checking. And also you can request a stress two, two. Uh, go to PIOS and then you can apply it. Then you can calculate the stress two, two that uh, layer one is the 1.2 something and the layer four is uh, uh, six point something. Then layer three should be same as the layer uh, two and four, yeah, that's right. Okay, then also you can request the string. That's E, like E11. Then E11, then you just uh, go to layer. Uh, that will be the negative sign, 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 sign. Then layer up to. And also, you can go to the, you can check the E22 direction in Y direction. So that it will be point one, which means that that is our displacement uh, uh, applied. And also the remaining one. The remaining one will be different because this direction, E22, is not the global one, it's the local, the material orientation. But, it, uh, but the layer one, uh, we assign the material uh, node orientation is zero degree. So that is the same as the global one. Then the E22 equals the global movement. Same as, the, I think it's the same as the layer 11. The last one also is the zero degree. So that is the last should point one. Okay. Then we can do the similar things for the other material model. For example, the model three. Model three is that we create individual elements, like 22 elements, then assign the material property. And sim similar, we uh, make the Individual material property that's uh, the integration point is three. Okay. And uh, for the request, because we create the, uh, we, we assign the material uh, individually, then whether we request as a whole model or request uh, um, as a, like a composite layer, they are the same. Then we can check the results. Uh, similar, we can just use the results, click section points, files, and then we can click uh, uh, the different, uh, it will show the layer result. Let's play this one. Uh, files. Then it will leave us like this. Then, actually, for this case, uh, you can just focus on the middle parts. Um, that's the value will be very close to the previous one. So the layer two, the middle part is about 6.6. .6. Um, that is same as uh, the model two. Uh, and also the layer one should be like five point something, the green part. Yeah, five point something, five, five point five. Okay. And uh, the shear one, the shear model, the last one that we use uh, uh, the laminate uh, to, uh, to apply the laminate material properties and using the shear elements. Uh, similar for the Oh, sorry. That is my model four. This model, that is shear. Okay. Then the uh, hmm, is this one? Okay, this. One. So I use integration three points, right? Then the step, the field output. Uh, use the composite layout 
and choose the correct the material assignment. Then go to the job and just let's see the results. Okay. Similar, we choose the results, section point, and then S11. Uh play. Yeah. The value is the same as the previous two simulation. Also like this, this. And then you can also check the uh string, string components, E22. The layer one should be 0.1. Right, yeah, layer one should be point one. Layer eleven should also be the point one. Uh, and the other will be like very different. Um and one more thing is layer six, because we rotate 90 degree. So layer six E11 could be like a point one something. Layer six, yeah. So and uh, uh for the for the shield elements and the the this solid section. We use the symmetric material uh, assignment, like uh, so that uh, they will have a symmetric uh, layer up just here. Then that value will be exactly what um, this is shows. Okay. So that's how well, that's how you can check the stress and the string in each layer and also the local uh, points. Thanks for watching.